What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome to another Super Smash Bros. Challenge. This one is Event 51, except this time it's in Project M. Not another Pride Challenge, we're going up against Mewtwo, Ganondorf, and Giga Bowser, just like in Melee, except this time there are no items, and Friendly Fire is off. So they can't hurt one another. That makes this ten times more difficult. So, <laughs> this challenge was pretty difficult, needless to say. I tried a whole bunch of different characters, and I tried a bunch of different strategies, and the best strategy I could come up with was to be Jigglypuff, and try to get a little bit of damage, usually around 20 to 30 percent, and then a rest would do a good number on all the opponents, really. Uh, it depends on how they DI as well. Uh, you can rely on self-destructs, but I really didn't want to rely on self-destructs for this, because then I didn't feel like I was actually completing the challenge, though it does happen every now and then. Rests. Um, Giga Buzzer has a huge hitbox, but landing them on Mewtwo and Ganondorf is a little bit more difficult, especially landing more than on more than one target at once is pretty difficult. Uh, that's pretty much what I use my invincibility from each, like, death. Uh, right away, I just either try and get damage, and if I can, get a rest. Uh, that's what I use the invincibility for. It's probably the best use for it. Um, now that it's a one-on-one -on -one with Mewtwo, I've got to use back airs. Uh, back airs, forward airs, up tilts, those were the main sources of damage when there were like whole, was a whole bunch of crowds and stuff. Actually, get up attacks off the ledge were really helpful too. But here, at this point, Mewtwo can kill me with an up throw, a uh, forward air around like maybe 70-80%. So Mewtwo has some great kill power on Jigglypuff, who's super light, and Jigglypuff really can't battle that well. You can see Mewtwo has a huge role, and Jigglypuff has a really difficult time keeping up with Mewtwo. So the whole time, I'm just thinking, okay, I got a back air. I'm just going to try wall out Mewtwo with back air, force Mewtwo to use that up B and make really predictable landing. So I think I caught his jump there, and he's forced to up B and doesn't make the stage. So one one last stock. We can do this. Come on, Jigglypuff. Uh, this is... I'll, I'll actually show you guys a clip uh, from one of the most heated moments. Uh, it was so frustrating after this little bit of challenge. Now, the confusion can actually... It stuns, like, your opponent and leads to really good setups. Now, I'm at kill percent. Like, there are a lot of moves that could kill me right now. So I'm playing really careful, really scared, and I hate to say it, but he starts to use Shadow Ball off stage and kills himself. That's only the second self-destruct out of all nine kills. Uh, so I'm actually really proud of this. I could have done a little bit better, but overall, it was a pretty fun challenge, though it got really annoying at times. It was pretty difficult to do. That being said, I encourage you guys to try it. And I guess I'll show you another one of my little clips from one of my mishaps. But uh, until the next video, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.